Hi, in this video we're going to talk about how to find where your domain name is registered if you've forgotten. My name is Travis Flans of WebWorks of Kansas City and yes that is actually a very common problem we run into with small businesses. Sometimes a small business owner is too focused on running their business that they have simply forgotten where their domain is registered. Hopefully you have registered your own domain name and you own it and not left that up to an employee or a previous agency. So if you have registered your domain name, let's find out how to figure out where it was registered. Follow along with the conversation using the hashtag webwork in it or follow us at webworks of KC on the social media and subscribe to the channel down here. Click the bell for notifications. Let's get going. To find where your domain name is registered, uh, we're going to do a who is lookup. And we're just going to go straight to the ICANN website, whois.icann.org. Now, ICANN is the, and I always forget exactly what it means, so ICANN is the Internet Corporation for Assigned Names and Numbers. Basically, this is a nonprofit organization that manages the databases of domain names, namespaces, and uh, IP addresses and numbers across the entire internet. So, uh, we're going to do a who is lookup. And who is is basically a lookup that says who is responsible for this domain name or IP address. So, this is going to tell us who owns it, uh, who the administrative contact is, the technical contact, all of that kind of stuff for a domain name. So as you can see we are here at whois.ican with two n's dot org slash en for English about dash who is. So if you just do a Google search for who is you'll find lots of different services to look up the who is record. And I'm going to just look up a domain name that I own and hit look up. Now it's going to give us a reCAPTCHA to prove we're not a robot. And it wants to see traffic lights. So if you get this, just click the little buttons and go through it. And now it's given us the results. And we scroll down. Um, hopefully you own your domain name. So we really just need to find out where it is registered. And we can see that the registrar URL is namecheap.com. This is a registrar that I use a lot. So uh, I know where I register my domain name, so that's not a big deal for me. But once you find that registrar URL, uh, we're just going to highlight it, right click and select copy, and let's get a new tab in our browser. And now we're going to paste that URL, and it takes us over to the website. Now likely this is where your domain was registered, however, sometimes companies are resellers of a different website. But uh, if you recognize you know, the domain and you could sign in, if you forget your password, reset your password, but you want to make sure that you're able to log in. If by chance you can't log in and you've tried to reset your password and get your username reminder and it still doesn't work, just find a way to contact support. Uh, because if that company uh, does have resellers, and you contact support and tell them you are the domain name owner and you can't remember where you registered, there's a good chance that they will at least tell you which one of their resellers registered your domain name. So if you can't remember who registered your domain name, at very least do that who is lookup to find out the registrar URL and then go to that registrar URL and contact their support. Their support, at very, very least, should be able to tell you which of their resellers registered that domain for you. Then, whenever you go to that domain, then whenever you go to that reseller's domain, you can log in there, try your password resets if you're not sure, and it, then contact their support. But it can be a long, tedious process. So if all possible start from the very beginning and make sure that you register your own domain name so you own it and then also make sure you keep track of your username and passwords when possible hopefully you are able to find out where your domain is registered and you can continue on your project so let us know below in the comments 
Tell us any horror stories that you have experienced yourself or that your clients have experienced with a domain name that they lost where it was registered. Or maybe they had a previous agency registered or an employee. Tell us your horror stories and also make sure to subscribe and click that bell to get our next video notification sent straight to you. Thank you.